Okay, I don't do a lot of hand cutting anymore, but we're on a steep, ridiculous job, and I'm doing a decent amount of hand cutting on this job. And I got something I want to show you guys. Uh, I've showed a lot of you that's watched this thing for a long time uh, where uh, uh, the uh, step stump. But I'm going to show you again, those of you that, because this kind of died off, the algorithms died. So I'll kind of give you an example on this. Try to do it right on this tree. Give y'all... Most people cuts a tree like that and blows it up in their face. And uh, barber tears and all that mess. Or pulls the crap out of fibers or whatever. And I'm trying to, I'm gonna try to show you a way to kind of cut it in, in a kosher manner without, uh, with no chance of it blowing up in your face and no chance of it sitting down and smashing your saw. First thing I did, made my notch. I'm gonna come in the same height as my notch, punch all the way through. If it's a big tree, I have to go to the other side and meet in the middle. I'm gonna punch all the way through and set a thick end. couple inches higher behind that make sure the woods is cut all the way the fibers are cut all the way but leaving it a step <laughs> something awful now what this done is that stump if that tree tries to open up on the hinge it's locked against the back of the stump so now all we gotta do is punch through cut her off slick see that red mark dag on piece this some bitch come loose and pop me right in the face but here's how it works all right now the bottom look how hollow that baby was the bottom see i left a big chunk of hinge holding i punched in the bottom to set the hinge and i just punched the hole through then come up to the next level and left this lock in here punched in sawed out the back and what that does is as long as these fibers overpass these fibers you're safe but when th this fibers overpass these fibers they'll rip loose right here and then it won't barber chair on you but it was trying to it's so hollow and j junky it was trying to barber chair on me and another thing if it starts to barber chair do not pull that saw out pour the meat to it uh depending it depends on your experience level uh but if you stop you see where it had to pull loose here i should have punched back in here and sawed back to about here then come around but i was being cocky i shouldn't have done that on camera see because you see i still had a tab holding there it tried to open up on me so it didn't work it ain't perfect it wasn't a perfect uh 
demonstration because of the dope and stuff in it and the way I finished it up but you you get the gist of it it works slick it does work slick don't don't take what I did and go and and, and just figure it ain't gonna work it's gonna work good for you I promise now I gotta go over and try to get that chestnut back this way top that thing Brutus is down uh, hiding in the bushes down there it is ridiculously steep and down below here, right at this level here, it just falls into nothing. I mean nothing. It looked like a wily coyote. You fall off that son of a buck, squalling all the way to the bottom.